Join me in the Cantabrian mountains in the northern village of San Sebastian de Garabandal, where the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared in the 1960s to four children. Hit the subscribe button and join me on this marvellous venture. Okay, this is the road as you come into Garabandal up the windy road for over a good hour. Here where I'm staying is Listeria Garabandal. It's uh, one of the sisters of Mary Loli who own both the hotel and the restaurant. Uh, so that's where I'm lodging. My room is right at the back there, looking out to the pines. And uh, yeah, the kids are just out playing with the hamster. The farmer seems to go down this road, wherever he leads to his. And up here is where you come straight into the centre of the little village. You'll see Posada San Miguel. Posada Mali is just behind this building up the hill a little bit. And the locals are just out. Obviously the pines are coming into view behind the building up here on the left. And as you come into Garib and dial up this road, you'll see the information board straight ahead with the telephone box, just where the cars are parked. But interestingly enough, thanks to one of the locals who had moved over here, actually, an American lady, this is the family home of one of the visionaries, Mary Cruz. This is her family home. There's a cool old tractor around the side. And as tradition, the lady's ringing the bell for the Holy Souls in Purgatory to pray and a reminder set for the rosary tonight at 7 o'clock. There's the tractor. House of Mary Cruz. I'm just just left the entrance of the restaurant. And here we are. You got the right there to the chapel, which will take you first. What you'll find with these boards is Spanish only. All Spanish, giving you the map of where to walk. So we come up the first bit of the hill.
This is the house of Jacinta and her husband when they come to visit. Uh, some of the family members, including her nephew, San Miguel, were pruning the roses earlier today, but they told us she won't be making it this year due to the COVID. Her husband and herself have decided to stay home in America. How cool is that for a picture? <laughs> and I like their nice bright flowers here. Yeah, that's just Santa's house. I can't miss the van, but this house, as I've been told, belonged to Mario Loli's family. It's not been occupied for many years and a lot of work's needing done. You notice the statue of Our Lady and the wall? In one moment. There it is. And as you see, there's a little signpost. But if you follow up the hill all the more, you'll eventually get to the beginning of uh, the big picture of St. Michael the Archangel as you lead up to the pines. But this is the house of Mary Lowley's family at least during the apparition times. And this was the grandparents' house of Mary Lowley. So we haven't walked too far. You can still see the church and bell tower. Not far at all. I'll come back to this point as I lead you up to the beginning of the way of the, the cross and the rosary. So let's keep going in the direction we're walking to Conchita's house. Small gift shop. Libreria Lux Mundi. And here we are coming to Conchita's house during the apparitions. I believe the family may still own it somehow. This part I've been told, but not all of it. And I'll come back to this plaque in a second. But let's get to the story. So I've been told that sometimes pilgrims and visitors come here thinking some type of Lord's water, but it's really just always been there for some time. So this is the house of Conchita's aunt, I've been told. And we're still at Conchita's house, which is the other side from where I've just walked in. But basically we walked this way. So this is the famous story here in Garabindal of the Eucharist that appeared miraculously in Conchita's mouth. The festival was happening elsewhere in the village and they were expecting the miracle as a sign. But she already received communion that day and they expected uh, it wouldn't happen. But as soon as after midnight basically passed, with the thousands of people gathered in these little streets, Conchita came out in ecstasy from her door right here. That's the door. And literally came from the door through the crowd round the side. And this is where she received Holy Communion from the angel. Archangel Michael. 
And this is why the plaque is here with some flowers to remember it by. It's quite surreal to see where she just walked a small little distance. For a great miracle to appear. Okay, we're back at the house of Mary Lolly. Heading up the hill. That's where it begins. And that's our dumber tour for the night. Time to go and pray rosary in the chapel for the holy souls. Even a prayer there now. Walking the same streets as those kids in all those ecstasies over the few years. The same streets our lady herself walked through. Back to the chapel. It's the information centre. Just now there's an American in there, speaks Spanish and English, obviously. Uh, Michael, lots of information to give. Maybe a couple of toilets at the side there on the right. Small religious shop, I think it's a apartment above. Doesn't have any name that I can see. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the notifications of the upcoming videos and check out the Garibandal and Marian Apparitions playlist.